Now for today's video, we are going to be taking all of the rescued market turtles, the ones from the food market, and we're going to be releasing them back into the wild, into a giant lazy river pond with other turtles and big fish. We've got the last two of these guys right here, so we're going to load these two in the bin right now. They're in. We're going to slam it shut, and we've got this guy. He's lively. He's ready to get released into the pond. The moment we've been waiting for to release this guy right now. Bye, buddy. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well I am just so excited to announce that for today's video we are going to be taking all of the rescued market turtles, the ones from the food market, and we're going to be taking them over to ZWF Miami and we're going to be releasing them back into the wild into a giant lazy river pond with other turtles and big fish. This is what I've wanted to build up to. I wish I could have told you guys, but I wanted to kind of build it up and show all of you guys what we were going to do and in the process unfortunately we have had three of the turtles die due to stress really is sad but nothing i can do about it they're resting in peace in the back if you guys haven't seen that video this is your first time on the channel well you're going to want to go watch uh this video then that video and then this one right here to kind of fully grasp what's going on here but before we actually go load those turtles up before we take them to zwf well guys i've got a couple of updates from around the house here that i want to give all of you and here it is the new enclosure is done now i kind of gave you guys a sneak peek and told you that i was going to be building something here but it is complete i have built a enclosure for all of my baby animals that i'm going to be having coming here they're all going to be able to like live in here while they're young this is built directly off of the house i took a lot of time and effort into designing this so you can see the cage is fully angled i went all out and i actually decided to do all the painting work myself so i gave the walls this camouflage i have a special technique of doing camouflage and for those of you that do follow me on instagram you probably have seen some of my stories of actually building it painting you got to see some of the work but now is when i'm showing you guys it in a second we're gonna actually head on inside but speaking of instagram uh, if you guys follow me here but you're not following me over on my instagram here I highly suggest that you guys go over to my Instagram now because this week we're actually going to be doing an incredible GoPro giveaway. So if you guys want to be a part of a GoPro giveaway, well, guys, you're going to have to follow me on my Instagram right there. It's at Jacob Fetter underscore. Um, it's got the blue check mark. It's verified and also it should be pretty easy to find because there are some imposters out there. But guys, make sure to go give my Instagram a follow right now if you're not following it already because this week we're going to be giving away a GoPro. All right, all right, all right. But enough of the Instagram. We're going to get back into today's video. I'm going to go right now. We're going to head inside. I'm going to actually show you the enclosure from the inside out. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We're heading out. We're getting ready to go in. And here we are. Take a look at the enclosure from the inside out. It came out absolutely incredible. We still have some uh, leftover painting supplies in here, but the floor looks totally new, and I actually painted this door myself to give it that full jungle and tropical look. So I spray painted it myself. I think the door came out amazing. Guys, go right now and comment down below what you think of this door. Do you like how it came out? I think it came out pretty good. And I actually had it angled. So the enclosure goes up on an angle there, goes a little higher and then flattens out there. So the enclosure is pretty tall. So if I go like that, uh, yeah, you can see the enclosure all up there. It's probably about uh, 10 feet tall, which is pretty tall. This is my favorite enclosure that I have actually built to date. It's come out amazing, and it's the design is cool, the artwork is cool, and my favorite part of all is it's literally built right off of my house, so I can be literally inside of my house and walk right into one of my enclosures. So now that all of you have gotten some updates from around my preserve, well guys, it's finally time. I'm gonna go head over to the carport where we have the rescue turtles. We're gonna load them all into a bin, take them to the zoo, and release them back into the wild. One minute, 37 seconds later. Guys, the moment all of you have been waiting for. Now, if you guys watched the last video, you will know that unfortunately, three of the seven rescue turtles from the meat market passed away. Now, everyone has been asking me and wondering, what are we going to do with these guys? Well, right now, this very second, we are going to load all of these rescued turtles, the remaining turtles, into the bin. We're going to take them over to ZWF Miami, and we're going to release them into back into the wild, into a massive pond. Well, not really the wild. It's a big pond, but for them, it's going to be just like home. It's going to be just like the wild, and I'm so happy that I was able to, you know, at least save four of the seven. Not all of them are going to make it, especially when they were in such bad condition. So, guys... 
without further ado, let's start loading these turtles in. We've got the first soft shell here. This is actually the one that has that little ripped lip. I don't know if you can see it right there, but there's a ripped lip on him. He's a little bit shy. Let's load him on in. We're gonna load them in there. Now, when we transport the turtles, we don't put water in there because if you transport turtles in a bunch of water, they slosh around and that water can get pushed down their nose into their lungs and it could give them pneumonia. So we don't do that. So we're gonna take this next guy right here, this big old turtle, and he's looking all right. Again, some trauma on the bottom of his shell, but with some TLC, time, love, and care, these guys should be doing well, especially because they'll be back into the wild. Here you go. We've got one in there. Come take a look. We have got the two in there right now. They're looking good. They're doing well. And look how long his neck is. Look at that. When these guys are completely stretched out, they just have super, super long necks. He's exploring the bottom. He's looking for food. This guy is active. He's healthy. He's got a good weight to him. We've got the last two of these guys right here. So we're going to load these two in the bin right now. They're in. We're going to slam it shut. And guys, I'm going to hop in the car right now. We're going to load the turtles, head to the zoo, and release them back into the wild. Guys, we're at the zoo, and we have all of our rescued turtles from the food market here now this guy guys i think oh no guys in transport again instead of having a third we just had a fourth pass away guys this is not good this is the one that actually has that ripped lip but he's alive look his mouth is open let's see if we can get him let's see is he moving guys we're gonna try to rehab him because at this point, this would be the fourth one from the market that has passed away. This is not what we want. We want to be able to release him into this gorgeous, lazy river here. I don't think he's made it, guys. I mean, we could just release him, but let me see. Let me see if we can get him out. Yeah, guys, we're just going to set him uh, aside for now. From the moment we loaded him in to the moment we're releasing him was only 20 minutes from my house to this very moment here. And unfortunately, this one passed away. We had another one, so four out of the seven passed away. We're just gonna place him right here while we put our other ones in. We've got this guy, he's lively. He's ready to get released into the pond, into the lazy river. So guys, he's gonna have koi fish, big turtles. So here we go, guys. The moment we've been waiting for to release this guy right now. Bye, buddy. Guys, this is amazing that we're gonna get to release him. He's swimming away. This is exactly what we want, releasing these turtles back into the wild into the lazy river and now we have one other one this is probably like the second biggest one that we have here this guy seems lively guys we're releasing turtle number two let's go one two three we're just gonna let him swim off my arms and there he goes guys he's been released this is such an amazing thing to do i'm so happy we were able to rescue these turtles and this guy i don't think he's gonna make it i mean we could maybe try releasing him let's see what he does let's try Let's see, you wanna go? Oh no guys, yeah. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to keep him inside of the bin. We're gonna get him set up. Maybe he'll come back to life, but unfortunately, we had three definitely pass away. If you guys have been watching the channel, you've been following along, you will know that we already buried them. We may have to take this guy, bury him next to the others, but now it's time guys, we're gonna release the third and final turtle this big one right here guys let's get to it such a good feeling right now that we're able to help these guys here we go guys everyday life at a zoo guys those are the lemur sounding off so we're just gonna release him we're gonna let him go right now guys right now here you go buddy here you go 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 be free go swim away he's starting to swim guys there he goes he's swimming away there we go absolutely amazing guys we were able to release three of the soft shells now unfortunately He's right here, he's right here. He's right there? Oh, here he comes. There he is. Hi, buddy. Here, you gotta go Go that way. Where do you wanna go? Bye. He's trying to get air. He's trying to get air. Are you coming up? He's on the bottom, he's just hanging out, and that is exactly what we wanted. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video. If you guys have been following along, you will know that we rescued him from the turtle market. We had some pass away in the process. We buried him, and now we're here. The moment... <laughs> We're here at the moment that I wanted to be at from the beginning, which is releasing them where they belong in a big pond back into the wild. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for that guy. And guys, if you guys are not subscribed yet, you want to see more turtle rescues, you want to see tigers, lions, and all kinds of crazy animals, but what are you waiting for, guys? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.